Good morning and welcome back to Freddy's Exotic Adventures. On this beautiful wet and gloomy morning, because last night we had an amazing storm down here, we are going to be discussing these little white round balls, otherwise known as Nile Crocodile Eggs. So stay tuned to this video, I bet you are going to learn something really, really amazing. So yes, you did hear me right, it is called Nile Crocodile Eggs eggs yes they do lay eggs a lot of people actually think crocodiles give birth to live babies no they do not reason being they are more closely related to birds than they are to reptiles ironically enough like humans we are actually more closely related to that stuff over there bananas than we are to slugs we share dna but in any case yeah crocodiles are more closely related to birds than they are to reptiles that's why they drop these beautiful white and shiny things now on that specific point no they do not taste like chicken eggs and they are not the same as chicken eggs so please do not dig these guys up and put it in the frying pan you're gonna regret it so so bad it really really sucks it's not chicken eggs so first things first how do you tell if a crocodile is pregnant well, it's actually quite simple if you know how to look for it. You can look at the crocodile I'm putting on the screen about now. So, if you look at this crocodile, you will see at the side of this croc, she is actually quite round and fat. If you look from the back legs to the front, you've got a nice bulge there on the side. Now, we do think she's actually busy laying eggs at this very moment, although we don't know. Yesterday was quite a rainy day. Well, not the day, the evening, it was a massive storm. So that usually triggers the crocodiles to lay eggs. But that's how you know the crocodile is pregnant. They will also start digging nests, but that's more when they start laying eggs. But you will look at the roundiness of the body. The grass finch, again, they're everywhere. So I will put two crocs on the screen about now. Compare the left hand one with the right hand one. The left hand one is rather skinny. She finished laying eggs about your almost a week two weeks ago and the right hand one is currently pregnant so you can compare the two with each other to see a crocodile being pregnant or where not now a lot of people ask me are these crocodiles overfed on the farm because they are fat no everyone's just pregnant and like um, i previously explained on the first video crocodiles lay on average 46 of these white beauties per cycle or per year this year we have not found a, a clutch that small the smallest we got was 56 eggs, but one got damaged and it was 55 eggs. On average, it's 46. Like I said, this year, 55, the smallest, it's not a bad total. Since this video has more to do with the crocodile eggs, I will just quickly skip over the reproductive stages of crocodiles. So mid-June, July-ish, they will start breeding. And about this time of year, November, September, thereabouts, they will start laying eggs. Now, a crocodile has the choice to keep the eggs in them for between 13 and days about 13 days and three months as soon as the weather starts chain changing the barometric pressure the thunderstorms the rain everything changes they will start laying eggs they're actually quite smart animals because they know exactly how to do it now that's just a basic reproductive cycle of crocodiles like i said on average they will drop 46 of these eggs per cycle or per year and what will happen they will dig a nest in the ground between 50 and 60 centimeters deep dropping one of these eggs every four minutes they have a contraction every four minutes now we don't know exactly <laughs> she's sneaking up on us so we don't know exactly why they do this but they have a chemical in their body that goes through the brain completely switches off the brain sorry about that i had to stop there just to um well control this baby behind me and tell her no i'm not lunch and the wind started picking up so it's going to make a hell of a noise on the microphone so like i said they drop on average 46 eggs every five minutes there goes a, uh, there's a chemical in their brain that completely switches off the brain that basically helps them go through the contraction stages and they don't even feel it so every four months they drop an egg for depending on how many eggs they drop and then they switch back on after they're done now they will protect those nests really 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 badly they are quite maternal the first six months of the eggs and baby's life but that is a conversation for a different time so i'm just checking out this female because i don't want to be snacked today it's not going to be fun so when a crocodile drops a egg every four minutes the crocodile egg is actually quite soft on the inside this is actually hollowed out so i'm not i don't know if you're going to see the inside but imagine the texture of a rugby ball is actually quite soft. 
Now, they drop an egg 50 centimeters into the ground where it hits the, uh, the bottom of the, the hole they dug and it goes lying flat. Now, if the second egg comes down and hits the egg where it was quite hard, it will shatter the eggs. So nature is a nice, nice, nice thing. They protect those eggs with a soft inner shell, a harder outer shell and a gel coating. So that coating absorbs the shock of the other egg coming down. 12 hours later, that coating actually dries and leaves behind a bitter powder. So it's a natural ant deterrent, meaning ants and other insects will usually leave the eggs alone. I will try to get a photo of how a crocodile nest looks or a diagram, but they will drop these eggs in a beautiful pyramid shape, something I cannot copy. Humans can't really copy nature. I mean, look at honey. You can't copy it. Never will be. You can make fake honey, but it tastes like shit. Excuse my Afrikaans. So yeah, they drop it in a perfect pyramid shape, meaning the outer eggs will be a bit cooler than the inner eggs. So why is that? In reptiles, we have something called temperature sex determinant, meaning the temperature you incubate the eggs at will determine the sex the babies hatch out as. On this farm, we do have, this is a commercial farm, so we do do it a bit differently. But in nature, they will drop in the pyramid, meaning all the outer eggs will hatch out as female, and all the inner eggs will hatch out as male, usually at a 50-50 ratio. So breeding is a one to eight, one male to eight female ratio, and the eggs hatching out is usually at a 50-50 ratio. So when the female is finished laying the eggs, she will actually cover the nest with sand, with some river sand, go stamp on it to make the sand quite compact and go lay on top of it to protect the nest. Now she will not leave that nest unless it is to either feed or to get some water or to pr protect it from rain. That's the only time she will leave the nest. The incubation stage takes about 88 days in nature, but we do have temperature fluctuations. They usually incubate between 29, 28 degrees to about 32, 32 degrees, or 32, 33 degrees Celsius or centigrade. It all depends what you want to say. We just say Celsius. So they incubate at that, at, that, at that temperature for about, like I said, 88 days. Now, we are going to explain a bit more about the incubation in a later video. I think that's episode 9. We are going to explain a bit more about incubation of crocodile eggs. For now, I just want to explain that on the farm, this is a commercial farm. So after the crocodiles deposited their eggs, we do dig them out about 12 hours after they've been laying. 12 to 24 hours after the laying cycle. We do that really fast and really carefully. Because like I said, they will protect that nest and they will chase you and they will bite you. It's not as easy as you guys think. It's really, really stressful to say the least. But we dig the nests out about 12 to 24 hours after they've been laid. We take all the eggs, we place them in the same position as how we found them in an the incubation room at 32 degrees Celsius, meaning we hatch out predominantly males. And it usually takes about 67 days. Like I said in episode nine, I think, I explain a bit more about the incubation stages of the crocodile eggs. So in nature, you have about a 75% chance hatching rate, meaning about 75% of the crocodile eggs will hatch out. That means one in about 40 of them will reach age of about three years old. So in captivity, we have a hatching rate of about 98% and about 90% of those will make it to about two and a half years old. So nature is quite an interesting thing. That's why crocodiles lay so many bloody eggs. On this farm, we're expecting about nine and a half to 10,000 eggs this year alone. But in nature, they lay a lot of eggs because they know the chances of them hatching out and surviving is so slim. I mean, everything will eat egg. Just because there's powder on the egg doesn't mean it will completely stop all the other predators from eating. I mean, look at monitors, for example. They will actually dig open the nest if the crocodile or the mother is not there. They will dig over, open the nest and eat the eggs. Other crocodiles will eat the eggs. They will smash the nest. It's just bad. So nature is quite a dangerous thing. The African finch, they're really terrible. I have to get another name for them. But yeah, nature is quite an interesting thing. So they have a lot of eggs because they know only about one in 40 will make it to about three years of age. After they hatch, that I will explain a bit later, everything eats them. Other crocodiles eat them, catfish eat them, fish eagles eat them, everything eats them. So I will explain that a bit later. 
So with that, it brings us to the end of this video. I hope you learned something interesting about crocodile eggs. Just to give an example, it's actually quite hard. But I hope you learned something interesting about crocodile eggs. If you like this video, leave a like, uh, subscribe if you want to. It'll actually help a lot if people subscribe to this channel. And leave a comment if you want to know something more about crocodile eggs. There's a few things I have to reply to in the comment section of some of my short videos. But we'll get there, eventually. It just takes time. But leave a comment. I just don't know exactly how to do it yet, but click the bell icon and just get the notifications of when we post or when I post new videos. So you can get notified, you can actually see what we're doing and you can love the animals as much as we love them. They are really, really amazing creatures once you get to know them. So yeah, a fear of something is just a lack of knowledge. The more you get to know these beautiful animals, the more you will find out you actually like them. But leave a like, subscribe, leave a comment. It helps a lot, and I hope you have an amazing day. Cheers. Horridas. The African finch. <laughs>